Dr. Mark Changizi here with your science moment. Today I'm going to talk about trolls. One of the things about trolls, and we use that term, you know, for the behavior that we often find that's so poor on the internet, whether it's in the comments section or our behavior to one another on Facebook and the comments or on Twitter, that's troll-like behavior. And in a sense, we can imagine as if trolls have evolved to not be social animals like are we, and so they're just jerks, right? That's, that's sort of the intuition. So there's a couple reasons for why people become trolls online. And there's a whole bunch of reasons, actually, but that are potentially. But there's two big ones that potentially explain it. One is that you can't emotionally express. In real life, your emotional expressions, and this is the topic of Dr. Tim Barber in my next book, is sort of the Rosetta Stone of emotional expressions, why we have the emotional expressions we do and what they mean and what they're for. These emotional expressions undergird uh, the social interactions and they sort of mediate and, and allow us to get along in groups. We, we lack that when we're online. We can put a little bit of these emotional expressions into the words, but we didn't evolve to even have language with one, with one another. In fact, one of my earlier books, uh, Harness, argues that the reason that we have languages at all is because language culturally evolved to sound like the sounds of ob solid object events in nature and tap into existing mechanisms and instincts that we already have. So when you try to put emotional expressions into the actual words and into the grammar, they just don't hit home. They don't have the richness that emotional expressions have. Emotional expressions are our first evolved language that help mediate social behavior. It's what really makes us smart, um, deeply smart social animals. So that's one possibility, right? is that unlike real life, where we can have all of these emotional expressions by virtue of our faces and our gestures, um, we're missing that online. The other is anonymity. Online, very often, we're not even using our real names. Uh, and at any rate, we're interacting with folks that are far away from us and are effectively anonymous. We'll never in interact with them. Certainly, anonymity has to have something to do with why we're behaving like trolls. Now, there's a couple reasons why it seems to be more about emotional expressions and less about anonymity. And let me give you two good reasons why. One, in real life, we very commonly, like all the time, our entire, our entire lives are bumping into folks that we'll never see again. This happens in the malls and in the grocery store. And we have our emotional expressions so that we can interact and mediate our interactions with, with one another. And people do not generally act like trolls, so they're much nicer. Right? They act like humans, and they respect one another, and they just act nice. Um, so when you have your emotional expressions in real life, despite them being, not a, not, despite them being anonymous effectively, um, people act nice. Whereas online, here's a second argument, that emotional expressions matter more than anonymity. Online, even when you're interacting with friends and family on Facebook, for example, in the comment sections, people become sniping and it becomes noxious and people start to behave like trolls, even when they're your friends and family. What's missing in that circumstances is not um, the fact that you uh, know them. What's, uh, what's missing in that case is the fact that you can't properly express your emotions. So. We have a situation where online, probably the primary reason for why we act like trolls is because we're not able to communicate our emotional expressions, which is the key signals that we're constantly unconsciously signaling to one another that allow us to get along and not be jerks. Well, this brings us back to another argument, something that I've talked about before, a problem with face masks. Here we have a world where the same folks that act nicely to one another under normal circumstances, but despite being largely anonymous, are now being asked to, um, to wear something that covers up the very emotional expressions that mediate our social behavior with one another and prevent us from acting like trolls. When you make decisions at a large scale to violate civil, li civil rights en masse and force people to wear things then in addition to worrying about whether they even work, whether asymptomatics even spread it, whether there's lots of harms from potentially falling and breathing and all these, these other kinds of things, these sorts of things are large scale uh, effects of what happens when humans, when you do something and you force humans to not be able to communicate with one another as they are designed by evolution to communicate with, with one another. There are consequences to these things. What we have 
The more that we wear these around one another, the more that we act exactly as we all do sometimes act when we lose our ability to emotionally express. We become trolls. That's what masks do to us. And that was your science moment.